Hey guys, Bit Loud here with the Blitz team. Want to show you guys a sweet find I got yesterday. Um, I seen an ad on OfferUp for someone with a plastic tote full of Power Rangers toys. They wanted 50 bucks. I offered them 25. They said if I can come get it, it's mine. So I went and grabbed it yesterday. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Uh, this just looks like a jumbled mess, but this is everything I got. Uh, minus the Imaginex and the Funko Pops. Those were mine. I already had those. But all the Zords here, I'm going to go through them in chronological order. I'm going to see what we got. All right, we're going to start off with the villains. We got Goldar, Squat, Ivanus, Sphinx Monster, and Finster. They're all in good shape. Uh, Goldar's a little beat up, but I think he's the coolest looking one. The only one I don't like is this Ivanus character. He's got movable arms and a head, but this bothers me. It seems like a piggy bank or something strange like that. But those are the villains we got. All right, going in order, we got the original Zords from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, the Pterodactyl. Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Mastodon, Tyrannosaurus. Got two sets. Missing the Pterodactyl for the second set. Uh, missing Triceratops Horns. One on that one. I only have one cannon. Uh, missing the tail end on this guy. Uh, and both Power Swords are missing as well. Um, I'm going to create the Megazord for you real quick. Gonna take these guys. Like that that leg same thing pop this guy down second leg you're gonna take the t-rex pop his leg up leg up it's gonna fit right in there like so put his head down you're gonna take the mastodon pull this off open this up switch the arms around Pop him on the back here, like that, like that, click this back up, pull this out, put his arms up, and the pterodactyl is the last piece. Head down, wings in, comes in, swoops, right for the chest. There was two of these guys going in the back, like this, and he holds his shield. Like I said, I don't have the power sword. I also have two sets, almost complete, just need the pterodactyl. But here's the original Megazord, 93. Good shape, I gotta clean these, but great find so far. Alright, sticking in order next, we got the Thunder Zords and two Tiger Zords. Both still work. Oh, that's not the one, I don't have batteries in that one, sorry. I just didn't feel like putting batteries both, but it does work. Um, Red Dragon Thunder Zord, Pink Thunder Zord, Black Lion. Blue Unicorn, Yellow Griffin, uh, mostly complete. I'm missing the head for the Thunder Zord, which is the back of this. Um, a couple, a little tail piece for the Red Dragon Thunder Zord with his bow staff as well. Um, the sword, I'm missing most of the orbs for the Tiger Zords. Uh, another sword for the Tiger Zord. Sword for the Megazord, I do have the holder. Um, the wing for the Pink Thunder Zord, as well as the feet stand. But I'm going to put the Thunder Zord together for you real quick. This is probably going to be the longest segment because this Thunder Zord is the hardest one to put together out of all the Megazords. So I'm going to first put this guy, the Red Dragon Thunder Zord. He's going to have to go into attack mode first. So you're going to take it like this. Sorry if you guys couldn't see for a second. Put his feet out. Put the arms together. Like so. Make these shoulders 90 degrees like that for the Megazord. Pop those together. Same thing. Okay, so he's gonna look like that. Take the head. Gonna fold it down. These are gonna stay up. You gotta take the jaw, put it back like that. Otherwise, it uh, it won't fit there. And that slides in like that. So that is well for his. It would be like this. But we're going to the Megazord, so you gotta pop those out. Pop those out. All right. Next. Okay. So. Get the other pieces ready first. Tab, back, foot. Tab, back, foot. You're gonna take this guy, his feet down, bop, bop. They're gonna go out. These little tabs fit in the side here. Make sure you line them up. This is gonna sound bad. Oops, drop the head. But it needs to make sure they're lined up. They are. 
good and give it a little push down. It sounds nasty. Like I said, this one's the hardest one to put together. It doesn't really stay as firm as the Mighty Morphin Megazord. Okay, that's that. Get those folded. Take the Thunderbird. It's going to fold around. Like I said, I'm missing the wing, but we make do. Pop it on the butt. This would sit right there, okay? And then the black line. His legs come apart easy. He's got this piece, he's got two tabs. You're gonna tab, tab. He's gonna slide onto the, ready for it? Pop, right into place. Take the arms, flip them out. It's gonna go, I usually like to pop this out just one notch, make it easier. Arm goes inside and then it claps over like that. It's a little weird. Same thing with this one. Flip it down. Pop this out one. Arm goes inside and then it's gonna clamp over like that. It's kind of weird. But that is, uh, like I said, I'm missing the helmet. Sorry guys. Oops, sorry camera. The Thunder Zord. Missing its helmet. Cool looking. It really is. It's just hard to put together. Now with the Tiger Zords, pull these up here. I'm gonna show you this one transforming into Tiger Mode real quick. This guy, pull these balls up. Pop that like that. These pop off like, just like in the show. Come off, pop, pop. Make his paws, make his paws. And the legs to go backwards, down. And pop it in place. A little wonky, but it works. Sorry if I'm too high, you guys can see that back leg. Back leg kind of looks like a Liger Zero. Fold his head down. And there we go. That is the Tiger's Orb. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Tail. Now that's the tiger's order. Okay. But wait. There's more. Now, if we take the tiger's order, put him back in somewhat attack mode. Or actually, you leave these up like this. I apologize. These stay up here. Like this. You pull these down like that. Like that. Okay, I'm going to pull them down like so. Arms, arms, ready for it. Okay, now what we're gonna do, actually, you gotta pull his chest comes out too, just like that. Okay. Now you gotta take these off. So, see, these go a lot easier than the Red Dragon Thunder Sword. Like, that felt right for some reason. You know? Okay. okay. It's all squared up. Right, pull these up. Bada bing. Bada bing. Okay, I'll take the black line off of the Red Dragon Thunder Sword as well. Arms, Oops. arms, those are going to go right here, right here, and the last piece of the black line actually goes on the tiger sword's back. Same thing, two tabs. Hmm. I can't get it. There we go. Oh, because this tab is folded in. Do -do -do. Jeez, too nice. 
such a hard time. And that, after you pull this piece up, which is real hard. One, two. Okay, where's the crown? Is up. And that is the white tire Megazord. Pretty cool. I think it's just as cool as the other one. With him hanging out, then you have him in attack mode, and the red dragon in assault mode. Be a pretty good team on screen. There are the Thunder Zords. Sure. You got uh, the wolf, the bear, the frog, the ape, and like I said, Ninja. I'm missing the pink crane zord, white falcon zord, um, the other uh, ape fist that goes on with the mega zord, and the sword. I think they have a sword. Um, I actually found the pink crane zord and the ape fist in a package deal on eBay the day I found these because I knew I needed it and I got it for a couple bucks, so that should be coming in the mail. But for this set, um, this is what we got. Let me show you. I'll build a mega zord and do Ninja. We'll do Ninja first. Uh, ready for it, ready for it. Bop, bop. And I think uh, these go bop, bop. And then the last piece. Meow. Ninja. And that's his battle mode. All right, uh, this Megazord, like I said, I'm missing the head, but pretty simple. Uh, wolf, legs go down. This goes up, tail goes back. It's an arm. The ape, I was really disappointed in this red Zord compared to the Tyrannosaurus and the Red Dragon Thunderstorm. This just seems uh, cheesy. Arms go in the back. Flip it up. Pop the legs up. Second arm. Bear. I'm going to pop our legs up. These go in. Down. Back. And the frog's obviously the legs because he's huge. Those go out. Pop them into place. When he goes down, you're going to take his uh, front hands, fins, whatever you call them for a frog, flippers, <laughs> put those down like that. Okay, the bear is going to pop into him. That. Okay, bear pops in. The ape's going to pop in to the side, just like that. These are very simple to put together, much easier than the last Thunder Zord. This goes on. Like I said, I'm missing the pink crane zord, which would be the head. Falcon zord for the back. This cover. But I got that coming. Got the other things coming. So, should be okay. Now I just need to get a falcon zord. So that's the ninja mega zord. From the movie, from the TV show, and ninja! Alright, next we got the shogun zords, which are pretty cool. Um, my favorite is the blue wolf. He has a real cool face there. Um, notice this is pink and not white like the show, as this was based off of Super Sentai, and they did not have the white Shogun Sword. Now, uh, the bear is also pretty cool. They don't have much movability themselves, but uh, let's make the Megazord for you. These two go together the same. Their arms pop up over their head like so. These are the arms. Pops together like that. This just folds up. There you go. One arm. Same thing with the Blue Wolf. Red Shogun Zord, his arms are going to go in the back like the ape. These guys are a little more difficult. They fold up like that. Oops. Fold up like that. Fold up like that. And you're going to pull these out for the next guys. These guys, same thing. Arms go in the back. Simple. These fold forward and up. Forward and up. Pop those two. One leg. Same thing. Arms in the back. Forward and up. See the stickers are a little messed up on this, but hey, it's okay. I can fix that. All right. So I'm gonna pop these in here like so. They clip in. I'm not sure if these legs are on the right side. If they're not, don't kill me. Sorry. And I'm also missing 
Shogun Zord's head. It's actually the crane piece from the last one, but it's a little different, so that goes on here as well. And the sword. But that is the Shogun Megazord. The last one they had in the show. Which is cool stuff. So you see I was missing a few Zords. I was missing the Dragon Zord. Now these aren't Power Rangers, but they're worth noting because they're at the bottom of the box. Um, I got this guy. He was from a Japan Sentai. I don't remember his name. I think it's like Super... I don't know. I could look it up and find it, but I'm too lazy. And this is a Megatron Beast Wars Transmetal. Pretty complete too. It's just missing his head. But uh, I think I had this as a kid. This was pretty cool. But I just want to show you guys. I also got that in the package deal. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Did I get a good deal for 25 bucks? I know I'm missing a few things. I don't have Tor. I don't have the Dragon Zord. I don't have Titanus, uh, the Assault Team base. A few things. But I'm going to get them up. I'm going to pick them up at flea, store or flea markets. Or you know, I'm going to see if I can find them on eBay cheap and piece this together. But I think for 25 bucks, this is one of the greatest buys I've ever had. Re basically reliving my childhood right here. For 20 bucks, 25 bucks, whatever. But uh, if you guys like my video, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this and other videos on Flash, Arrow, Clash Royale, Power Rangers, anything fun like that, make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks, guys, and bit loud out.